Radio.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon. I am Vanessa Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube on Iowa TV. In the headlines, a freak storm in South Trinidad damages homes. Scrap iron workers intensify their protest. Prime Minister, Jamaican Prime Minister arrives in TNT for independence celebrations. And internationally random shooting spree in Detroit, USA leaves three people dead. And now the news in detail. Several homes were damaged in St. Madeline yesterday during a freak storm. Owners of these homes say they are now worried about where they will find money to fix their roofs after gusty winds blew them off. This morning, the villagers came together to salvage whatever material they could find to repair the damages to their homes. The villagers are now hoping for some assistance, saying they will be grateful. Meanwhile, the Disaster Management Unit has been notified and the councillor for the area said he will try to assist the residents with applying for government grants. In other news, anyone trying to get out of South Trinidad this morning were adversely affected by protest as scrap iron workers intensified their action. According to reports, just after 5 a.m., areas near the northbound lanes of the Sir Solomon Hochoy Highway were blocked by debris, bringing early morning traffic to a halt. Police and fire officers tended to the scenes, attempting to clear the roadways. Scrap iron workers have promised to continue their protest until the government removes the six-month ban on scrap iron, which is to run until February next year. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has responded to this morning's protest, which took place from as early as 5 a.m. on the Solomon Hochoy Highway in the vicinity of the Claxton Bay overpass. In a Facebook post, Dr. Rowley accused members of the trade union movement and the opposition of aiding disgruntled scrap iron workers who blocked the northbound lane of the highway and other main intersections with piles of gravel and fiery debris. Dr. Rowley accused the union leader Roger and the UNC of supporting metal thieves in attempting to shut down this country. In other news, Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holmes is in Trinidad and Tobago for TNT's 60th independence celebrations. He arrived on the island last night. Earlier this month, Jamaica also celebrated its Diamond Jubilee. While in TNT, Holness is expected to be the guest of honor at several events, including the Prime Minister's Gala at Napa, as well as the parade on Independence Morning. Holness will head back to Jamaica on Thursday. Four more people have died due to COVID-19. They are three elderly males and one elderly female, all with, pre, with multiple pre-existing medical conditions. The Ministry of Health in its update yesterday noted that the COVID death toll is now 4,132. Meanwhile, 155 more people have tested positive for the virus following results confirmed from samples taken between Friday and Saturday. This brings the overall number of confirmed cases to 178,687. The ministry says vaccination continue on slowly with 716, 331 people fully vaccinated representing 51.2% of the population. Internationally, three people were killed and another was wounded in an apparently random shooting spree in the U.S. city of Detroit, the Midwestern state of Michigan. The victims of the violence early on Sunday morning included a person waiting for a bus, another walking their dog, and a third who was just on the street. U.S. authorities say the man was arrested at around 9 p.m. Sunday. Still on the international scene, Pakistan is appealing for further international assistance as floods devastate the country, leaving many dead. The death toll from the monsoon rains have reached 1,033, with 119 killed in the last 24 hours, the National Disaster Management Authority says. The U.S., the U.K., the United Arab Emirates and others have contributed to a disaster appeal, but more funds are needed, officials say. One man told the BBC his daughter was swept away by, by a flooded river. She was going to collect leaves for his goat. 
In more international news, a man was mauled to death by a lion in Ghana after he climbed into a zoo enclosure in the capital, Accra. The man, described as middle-aged, died from injuries after Sunday's attack, officials say. Wildlife authorities suspect he may have planned to steal two rare white lion cubs. The victim's body was retrieved from the zoo and taken to a local morgue. Police have opened an investigation to establish the motive of the intruder and the circumstances surrounding the attack. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online, Facebook, and YouTube on Iowa TV. Recapping the headlines, freak storm in South Trinidad damages homes. Scrap iron workers intensify their protest. Jamaican Prime Minister arrives in TNT for independence celebrations and internationally random shooting spree in Detroit, USA leaves three people dead. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas. <laughs>